a major event needed to happen in order for us to be like, chill. Let's, let's just chill. And this was the event that happened. I'm calling for peace and for truce. And an end to the insults, an end to the abuse, an end to the vitriol, an end to the toxicity. It's the kid double H. I want peace. I want peace. You hear me? I demand peace. It's time for peace. Because this needs to stop. This needs to stop. This went into my, my DM. People sit into my DMs. No, 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 the other kind of DMs. That's what happened. So this was like a post made by this guy, um, Thomas Ranserabat, Messi Ballon d'Or. Hello, friends. What we knew has happened. They were going to give the Ballon d'Or to Messi. He went to retire at Miami, but he was already looking like retired at PSG to prepare for the World Cup. He won the World Cup, yes. Well, well with six penalties. The World Cup was 10 months ago. We're in November. Messi has eight Ballon d'Ors. Well, he, shouldn't, he, he, should have, he should have five. He has the Ballon d'Ors of Iniesta Javi. Lewandowski, who won six trophies in one season, and Haaland, who was the top scorer of everything. And then you have Cristiano, the Cristiano, fully verified, with the crying emoji. Now, a Cristiano fan says to me, no, come on, why you hate Cristiano? He's just doing that because it's like an ironic laughter, and he doesn't really believe that. He's just saying that this guy's um, offenses towards, like, these comments are stupid. And because those comments are, are stupid... Cristiano is laughing because of how stupid his comments are. I'm like, guys, how long have we been doing this? You see, don't take me for a fool. We know who Cristiano is. We know how much he cares about the Ballon d'Ors. And we know how much it eggs, it annoys him that Messi has won more Ballon d'Ors. We, and this is how, how I, I, this is why I respect Cristiano. Actually, I respect him. I respect him because he's honest. I despise dishonest people. I despise, I despise people who are one way, but another way behind the, the, the scenes. So love him or hate him, take me as you are, and that I respect. I respect somebody who is upfront with how they feel about everything. That I have so much respect for that because there's nothing worse than fake people. What you can say many things about Cristiano. One thing you can say is that he that he he's not real. And he's not honest. He's real and honest. Love him or hate him, he's real and honest. And I have the utmost respect for people who are real and honest. So he's honest. I want to compete. I want to be the best. And I'm annoyed if somebody is better than me. For me, you have to respect that as any top athlete competitor. Do you think Jordan wanted anyone to be better than him? Do you think Federer wanted Nadal to be on the same level? Do you think Sampras wanted Agassi to be on the same level? Come on. No. So here's the thing right now. Um, it's over. This battle is over. It was, it was, it was amazing. It was fascinating. I never bought into it. Now, I never bought into it because, as a football purist and as a football guy, I'm from a school where it's not about stats. It's about the quality of a footballer. So I'm the Romario guy. I'm the R9 guy. I'm the Rivaldo guy. I'm the Maradona guy. I'm the Romario guy. I'm the Dino guy. I'm the football guy. I'm the, I mean, look the the jazz I hold up in the rafters. I'm that football guy, you know? So so it never meant anything to me. But in terms of the amount of goals that they scored and how they, and how they were breaking goal records and just their insane output, it was fun to watch. It was fun. It's an important saying. Everything that has a beginning has an end. Nothing lasts forever. Everything ends. Everything ends. Nothing lasts forever. This had a beginning. This had a middle. And now it has, has, has an end. And what I'm calling for is a truce between both fans because it's over. Because what I don't want is this debate now carries on into the retirement. That's what I, I, I don't want. Because the Messi FC and Ronaldo FC, it's weird. And you see, for me, I've been trying to understand it. And there is an understanding here to it because it's about human nature. We are tribal. And once we choose a tribe and we're part of that tribe, it is very addictive. 
And when you put in so much stocks and you buy into that, this is my guy, this is my guy, this is my guy, this is my guy, my guy is the best, my guy is the best. And you have that tribe who says that no matter what, we must support our guy. It's very hard to go away from that. So I'm trying to understand that psychology. See, I'm not tribal. But I've got to just say half of this ain't about you. Take your mind out of it and go into the minds of these people. And for the, from the Messi FC guys and Ronaldo FC guys, they just say, my guy's the best, my guy's the best, my guy's the best, my guy's the best. And I think it's almost like a game. And the game is, I've got to come up with arguments as to why my guy is the best. And I'm not going to come up with arguments as to why the guy he's competing in ain't the, the best. So all over Twitter, all I just say are just stats and numbers. Well, um, Ronaldo did this, 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 this. Oh, Messi did this, this, this. And it's, it's tribalism at its finest. Like this is pure, this is pure on court's full tribalism. And how do you end that? How do you end something that people enjoy? That's the thing. I'm missing out. They enjoy this. And all I can say is, um, let's all come to together. What I want both sides to come together. That's what I want. I want both sides to come together as one because, because see, this image here is, is key. I'm calling for peace and for truce. And why am I calling for truce? As I said, this was never a rivalry. It was never a competition because I always thought that Messi was fully better, but fair enough. Goal scored, all that kind of stuff and everything, and trophy's fine. So they needed to be points where okay, this, okay, this, 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 this is the end point. Some an event needed to happen to signal the end point. So as much as I said that, but he dribbles, but he creates, but he's a facilitator, plus he he, he does more over 90 minutes. Did you see what he did this 18, 19 season? He has a lot, he, ha he has a lot more effects over 90 minutes of the game. But see, that's maybe too too much football for people to understand. Because these people, they need something very simple. The real nitty-gritty nooks and crannies of football on a very detailed sense, people can't grasp that. They're like, uh, but he has no Cup of America, he has no World Cup. Yeah, but that... No, no. So something needed to happen. Something needed... To, a, a major event needed to happen to say to end this. Because what I was calling for is end. An end to the insults. An end to the abuse. An end to the vitriol. An end to the toxicity. An end to things being said that just crossed the freaking line. An end to um, PNL Pessy freaking tweeting me every other freaking day. Actually, he's actually stopped tweeting, actually, but you know. So something needed to happen. A major event needed to happen to say, this is where it stops. December 18th was a, is one of the most important days in football. Because the Messi-Ronaldo thing was, we, it is, I mean, let me even, let me even, let me go back. Let me, let me go back. We're never seeing this again. Forget about Mbappe. Oh, Mbappe, Haaland. No, 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 no. We witnessed something that we will never witness ever again in football. Two players with this level of consistency doing battle against each other for the better part of a decade, if not more. We're never seeing two players put up these numbers for on a, such a consistent basis for such a long time. We are never seeing this level of consistency from two players ever again. It is never happening. What we saw is a once in a lifetime occurrence. It ain't never gonna happen again. So don't try to recreate this. Just be happy in the fact that we were there to witness history, to witness greatness between these two players. So, how did it need it to, what needed to happen? A major event. A major event needed to happen in order for us to be like, chill. Let's, let's just chill. And this was the event that happened. Because December 18th was a very important date in more ways than one. Because, in my view, December 18th was the end of Messi and Ronaldo as a debate. It was the end. Because... December 18th was, okay, he's now, he's moved to that echelon. Because before December 18th, 
it was still, well, you know, but that club where Pele is in, Maradona is in, Zidane is in, Arna, that club was always close to Messi and Ronaldo. Messi and Amon Cristiano. But after December 18th, Messi left Cristiano at that section of the club. The VIP doors opened and they said, yo, Messi, can we check your ticket, please? They checked his ticket. Verified, come in, doors were closed. Leo, caviar is there, drinks are, are there. First drink is free, everything is, is paid for. The water bed is there, jacuzzi is there. Um, the girls will be in soon and everything. So everything pops up very soon. DJ is going to be popping up very soon. Here is a welcome to the VIP room of World Cup winners. So December 18th was where this Messi Ronaldo thing ended because Messi now separated himself fully from Cristina. I already thought he did, but we needed a major event. We needed a major event because people didn't want to accept me as the footballer analyst trying to give you the footballing reasoning why Messi was away from Cristiano. I needed a big event and this was it. December, I was happy about December 18th. Because December 18th meant that bomb-ass, trash, annoying debates ended. Because you have to understand this is like where I'm coming from. I get it. I get it. We're in it we're, we're, this is a different world from where I see. There's my world and there's this world of the modern age. The modern age, there are about stats. Stats, 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 stats. You know, and people who grew up with Messi Ronaldo, they're focused on stats. I grew up in a period before these guys, before these guys were even playing, before these guys were even an, an occurrence. That was my football world. And in that football world, it was about the eye test. It was about what he did on the pitch. It was about the trophies he won. The Ballon d'Or didn't mean anything. It was about, do you win your league? Do you win that Champions League? Do you win your Continental Trophy? Do you win the WC? That was my world. So I didn't understand this world of like, oh, stats, goals, stats, goals. That wasn't my world. So I was like, no, no, no. I'm looking at this through a footballing point of view. I don't give a damn about freaking output and goals. I don't care. I'm about what do you do as a footballer? <laughs> because as I always say, if it's all about stats, Maradona is a bomb. Javi is a bomb. Iniesta is a bomb. Dino is a bomb. If it's all about stats, Dino, Iniesta, Javi, um, Maradona, Zidane, they're all bombs. Now, when we definitely insert Iniesta as a bomb, I would definitely insert your boy Maradona as a bomb. So that's what we are. But my thing is this his legacy is set. His legacy is set. His legacy is set. He is one of the greats of the club game. Internationally, eh? Club game. He's arguably one of the great, greatest players ever. You can make an argument he's the greatest club football player ever. You can make that argument. Like, that's an argument you can make. Minimum top two, top three club players of all time. I say top two. Probably no, top two. Club career, club-wise, we did for United, Real Madrid, Juve, return to United, what he's done in, in the UCL, the trophies is won. You can make it that way. He's the greatest club player ever. So for the Ronaldo fans, you're good. So my thing though is unite, make peace, be happy with what your guy has achieved and don't try to downplay another guy. So for the Messi FC fans, forget the Ronaldo FC guys. Your guy has completed a football. He's entered that VIP club where there's really good food. Shout out to Mario Gugliari. So there's really good food. You know, everything's popping off. And for the Ronaldo FC fans, okay, he did it. The guy did what he did. There's nothing more to now done playing with. Be happy with what your man has done. Make peace. Because it is, there is no point in having any debates anymore. And one thing that needs to happen is this, because I'm, because see, I told you I'm going to be, be fair. Stop having messy chance with, with Cristiano. Why? You see, now that's, I think, is, is stupid. And if I'm Cristiano, I'm angry. Okay, fine. Why are you egging me on? So I think it's at the Saudi Pro League game. Why you say, Messi, 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 oh, Messi is better than you. Why? Why? Guys, it's childish. Guys, I've moved on. I'm ready for the Mbappe era. 
the Haaland era, the Bellingham era, the Musiala era. I'm ready. Messi, Ronaldo, it's done. It's finished. It's in the past now. It's in the past. <laughs> so guys say, oh, football would be the same, you know, Messi. They're the Cool. Once Messi, Ronaldo retire, get the F out of this while me and the rest of the other football fans who loved football before these guys were even in existence are going to be, because I'm a football fan. I'm not, I'm not a freaking messy FC guy, Ronaldo FC guy, Hazard FC guy. Once Aaron and I retired, I was sad. I was sad, but I got to move on to some other new people. And I'm all about the new and the future. So guys, make love, no war. So for Cristiano, move on with your life. Focus on it. Don't make comments about Messi's Babylon doors and just move on with your life and just be happy. So for Messi FC fans, Ronaldo FC fans, truce, make peace and be happy that Messi's great, Cristiano's great, and they're both great in their own rights. So it's that. That's it.